Hello and welcome to another Mars 2020 mission update. We'll be looking at the images are cropped from a high resolution panorama that NASA put together for us. Perseverance snapped a couple of great photographs on Sol 4. As always, I'll include the link to the reference material in the description below. So there's the panorama. I do suggest if you get a chance to go and check it out. It's uh, really nicely put together. So to quote from this article, stitched together from 79 individual images, this Mars Z Cam Right Eye 110mm Zoom Mosaic is from the camera's first high resolution panorama imaging sequence. These images were taken on the afternoon of Sol 4 of the mission. The mosaic is not white balanced but instead displayed in a preliminary calibrated version of a natural color composite approximately simulating the colors of the scene that we would see if we were there viewing it ourselves. There's a lot of red for this mustard color applied to this photograph so I've adjusted the color and contrast slightly so that it looks a little more natural. So we're looking at the first anomaly and uh, from our previous video you'd see this item over here in the front is approximately 70 meters wide. What makes it really interesting is its rectangular shape and the very flat smooth surface on the one side. And then it's part of this larger part which looks as if it was part of the delta and from water erosion we were left with this strange structured butte that looks very artificial in nature especially considering it has this rectangular shape on the one side. Right then we're looking at two disc shaped anomalies of Yafax. These are about two to three meters across. Very difficult to judge. They are far off in the distance at about 100 120 to 160 meters from the rover. So there's the first one and what makes this one really interesting is not just the disc shape and the flat smooth surface but this triangular part on the side. It's also got a curved shape to it and lying in front of it we've got small rectangular blocks. Check out this one over here. Could be a photograph artifact but there's two of them next to one another here which makes it rather interesting. Look at the bright parts over there they're parallel with one another and a 90 degree angle there. Then the other one over there to the right check out the perfectly rounded shape very smooth flat surface and then it's got a uniform thickness to it as well. Check that out. And then there's a strange block of yet to the right. Look at the rectangular part at the back there. We've got 90 degree angles, very smooth flat surface. And then this brighter part is also uniform in width. Very similar to that back there. Right, then we're looking at another disc-shaped anomaly, folks, lying next to a weird rectangular block with rounded corners. So check out the perfectly rounded symmetry and geometry of this. Very smooth, flat surface. And then these corners are also rounded, almost at the same radius as this object in front of it. And there's another one back there folks but the same size. And also check out the perfect arc that it has to it. Almost seems to have a uniform thickness as well. There's another huge block over there in the background. 
It's got like a wedge shape to it, straight edges and right angles. But I chose this item over here, guys. It looks like some type of sculpted piece. And this isn't the only one on Mars that looks sculpted. Check out the rounded design. And it's got what looks like a slot in it over here. As I say, it looks very artificial, very similar to another item that Curiosity Rover snapped on Sol 844. It's a strange blocky item with this slot cut into it. And then this is from the MRO High Rise and my video called Part 1, the Sidonian Neolithic Artists and Builders of Mars. This is just to illustrate another type of sculpted design that I found on Mars. This item also has a constant uniform thickness to it. And then check out the curved design to it. Yeah, we'll zoom in on that block. Check out the straight edges and right angles to it. Also seems to have a bevel cut onto the one side. Check that out. And it's slightly hollowed on the top. Maybe dented in. Who knows what that is. But Rover Curiosity also found similar megalithic type of blocks on Sol 618. This here looks like a megalithic slab. Very similar to those that you'd find down in South America. With straight edges and right angles to this. And then this one corner seems to be carved in over there. It's got like a curvature to it as well. There's another block there in the background. Get these straight edges and right angles. And then a perfect bevel running across it. Get the uniform width of that. Strange block of here. It looks almost like it has a table top on it. Not that it is, folks, but check out the geometry and symmetry going on here again. There's another similar slab over there. Very similar to this one. And then this strange part it looks almost like a bath or container. Slightly rounded over here. And uh, this is courtesy of Will Ferrari who found these ages ago. It's also got a YouTube channel. However, he hasn't posted videos there in quite some time. And then there are some MRO high-rise photographs that captured similar sized and shaped blocks. This one over here, for example, is about two to three meters across. And these over here about four meters across. They're very similar in size and shape to these. There's another disc shaped anomaly there. It seems to be attached to a larger part. If we compare these, there's an uncanny similarity in the size and shape. And there are some others that the MRO snapped from orbit. These two are in the same high-rise photograph, not far from one another, and they seem to be attached to larger parts underneath. And there's two more discs attached to a larger item. These are from my video called The Return to Copernicus on Mars. And they seem to be attached or part of his cubes. And then there's a very odd V-shaped anomaly next to it. And now we're getting to multiple sided objects. We're going to check out this one. It looks almost as if the surface on this item is machined. So let's zoom in on that one at the background. Got one, two, three, four, 
five sides visible. It's almost cut like you'd cut a precious stone. Very smooth, flat surface to it. And then it's got a uniform thickness to it as well. Check that out. Bevel running across there. And then it goes back over to that side. Parallel with the edges. Right then, that piece over here, it looks almost as if this has been machined. Get those parallel lines going through there. Could a type of a machine have carved that into this block? And that seems to be repeated over here. And then this strange item, the rounded part here to the right, and then the rectangular face here on the left. Seen lots of blocks like this on Mars, where we've got a rounded design to it. There's a hexagonal object back there, folks, and we're looking at some blocks just above it. So let's zoom in on that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides to it. Very symmetrical. And then over there, it looked like blocks that have been cut to fit tightly together. Straight edges and right angles to them as well. That comparison is just uncanny. And these were snapped from orbit. Noarcus Terra, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides to that part attached to a larger object underneath. These two are from Protonellus Mensae. We've got one, two, three, four, five sides visible there. And over here, this looks almost like it's a tombstone. But one, two, three, four sides visible there. Equal angles. So what the heck, folks? More common design features on Mars. And then this. Don't know what to make of it. It looks very similar to the back view of a dentist chair. Check out the armrest and the headrest over here. Not that it is, folks, but look at the symmetry, geometry in this shape. Also has a uniform thickness to it, and then a wedge shape piece seems to be attached to it. Those objects in the background there look very artificial almost metallic in nature and they're lying on top of a rather strange crumbled up piece consisting of two parts we've got a larger rectangular part at the bottom seems to be slightly hollowed out and then this long narrow part sticking out of it going over the edge so we're looking at some type of wreckage over there it's got a very metallic type of look to it right there in the background another block it seems to be carved out on the one side also has a bevel running across there the right angle and then the MRO snapped a similar and shaped anomaly. This is from an area called Tanaeus. The right angles to that as well. So this looks very similar to that. This is just seen from the front. This is from the top. That concludes this one folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did Please give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your like-minded friends. And uh, as always, let's have a chat down in the comments below. 
I'd love to hear what you think of these. I'll be keeping a close eye on the High Rise catalog as well as the Perseverance Rover catalog. Take care everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.